Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Vintage Collection action figure review. We're looking at Cara Dune, uh, VC-164, an outstanding figure of an outstanding character, and that card art is just stunning. Love it a lot. Just that light behind her looks, looks beautiful. Um, yeah, really nice card art for these. VC-164, excuse my squeaky floorboards, I'm not using that as an excuse for something else. <laughs> Alright, so let's have a closer look at the figure, because it's a good one. Alright, here is the one, the only, the Cara Dune. Now this is a superb action figure. Very much a nicely scaled down version of the 6 inch uh, figure. Uh, in terms of sculpt, everything is just top notch, the paint is great. Um, I had one little issue with her gun, um, which is not a big deal. Uh, the strap did actually break away off the plastic at the back, but that's not a big deal for me. Um, I'm not a big fan of the strap, so I'll probably cut it off the front as well. So she does come with this big heavy blaster, which is great. So yeah, like I said, there's the... Uh, broken plastic um, it almost happened straight out of, straight out of the packaging so um, could just been a little bit of a bit of a skinny spot of plastic but that's not a big deal uh, blaster pistol does fit nicely in the holster there Let's try and get a good close up there. just sort of this photo real age is kind of uncanny particularly with the new characters um, some of the ones that they're doing on old figures um, aren't looking too great and I, th I think they should just move ahead I know that's a cheap way of getting figures out again um, but just move ahead and do it with new figures don't worry about um, trying to trying to repaint old molds with new paint apps because uh, there's a wave coming out with like Luke, Lando, and Han, I think. Um, and they don't look great. Um, but this just looks bang on. I'm really into the armor that she's wearing, the sort of blue tones throughout. Blues and blacks. And the shock trooper band on the arm, the tattoo. I'm pretty sure if you look close enough, you just make out the the Rebel Alliance tattoo there on her cheek. Just it's a uh, very minute detail, um, but really well done there, Hasbro. That's good stuff. So articulation wise she has a ball jointed head you can see it's on the double peg there ball hinged shoulders ball hinged elbows ball hinged wrists a pretty good torso joint there uh thigh ball hinged thighs swivel at the top of the thigh there joint in the knee and ankle joints just really really enjoyed this character in the Mandalorian she was really good she kicked ass um, I think Gina Carano did a great job I haven't been as big a fan of her as in the past um, but I'm absolutely on board <laughs> on board now um, yeah just a great character and great figure too I definitely recommend this one if you can find it um, the 6 inch one is great too, I have reviewed that one. The sculpting on the hair is great as well. Just all over. Just a pretty good figure, really nicely painted, tidy. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. 
and we'll be back very very soon with another video.